Revenant Slayer is one of the best ways to get combat XP in Hypixel Skyblock. And there are also many other important drops, such as the Warden Heart, which is currently going for about 175 million coins. So in this video, we will explain how to defeat every tier of Revenant Slayer, and make millions from it. Also, if you find this guide to be helpful, then don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and also comment any questions you have about Revenant Slayer. Now before we begin, let's go over some useful healing items for Revenant Slayer. Firstly, there are all the wands. The Wand of Healing heals you for 60 health every second, and it only costs about 25,000 coins. The Wand of Mending heals you for 90 health, and costs around 200,000 coins. The Wand of Restoration heals you for 120 health, and costs a little over 2 million coins. And the Wand of Atonement heals you for 170 health, and costs about 9 million coins. The Wand of Atonement is definitely not required for Revenant Slayer, especially since it's not even unlocked until Slayer level 7. But the other wands will be extremely useful if not essential for the Slayer, because all of their healing abilities heal you every second over the course of 7 seconds. The next healing items are the Zombie Swords. The base Zombie Sword heals you for 120 health plus 5% of your max health every time you right click, and it costs 700,000 coins. It then has two upgraded tiers, the Ornate Zombie Sword and the Florid Zombie Sword. They each heal you for a bit more than the normal Zombie Sword, and the Ornate Zombie Sword costs around 900,000 coins, while the Flora Zombie Sword costs around a million coins. The next healing items are the Power Orbs. You likely won't need these, but if you're struggling, then you can use them. There are four tiers, the Radiant Power Orb, the Mana Flux Power Orb, the Overflux Power Orb, and the Plasma Flux Power Orb. You definitely will not need the Plasma Flux or the Overflux, but you can use the Radiant Orb or the Mana Flux. The Radiant Power Orb heals you for 1% of your max health every second, and costs 70,000 coins, while the Mana Flux Power Orb heals you for 2% of your max health, gives you 10 strength, and gives you 50% more base mana regeneration, and it costs 3.5 million coins. The final helpful item will be a God Potion. It gives you most of the best potion effects including strength, critical, and many other effects for 2 million coins. To spawn the Revenant Slayer bosses, you have to talk to Maddox. Maddox is found over here in the basement of the tavern, but you can also use the Maddox Bat Phone, which is unlocked at Wolf Slayer level 3. Now tier 1 is much easier than the other tiers, it only has 500 health and deals 15 damage a second. It costs 2000 coins to spawn at Maddox, and for your gear, you can use an undead sword, which can be purchased from the weaponsmith for 100 coins. For your armor, you can use Rosetta's armor, farm armor, or really whatever you have because the boss deals so little damage. You could probably even do it in no armor. To get the required XP to spawn the Slayer, you can just kill graveyard zombies located next to the tavern in the graveyard. Once it spawns, just hit it until it's dead. There's no special strategies for this boss because it's so easy. Tier 2 has significantly more health than Tier 1 at 20,000 health. It also deals 25 damage per second now instead of 15, and it costs 7,500 coins to spawn. For your gear, you'll want to upgrade it to either Ender Armor, or maybe even a set of Strong or Unstable Dragon Armor, but that might be a bit overkill. For your weapon, you can just keep the Undead Sword, but that might take a while to kill it, so you can upgrade to a Raider's Axe or Void Sword. For this boss, once it spawns, you want to try and back yourself into a wall like this, because it deals quite a bit of knockback. And then once you're backed into the wall, just hit it until it dies. Tier 3 also has much more health than the other tiers at 400,000. It also deals 120 damage per second and costs 20,000 coins to spawn. For the gear, you might be able to do it in Ender Armor, but you'll probably want strong or unstable Dragon Armor. For your weapon, you might still be able to do it in the Void Sword, but if you can't, then you can upgrade it to an Aspect of the Dragons, or you could upgrade it to a Revenant Falchion if you have unlocked it. The Aspect of the Dragons is unlocked at Combat Level 18, and the Revenant Falchion is unlocked at Revenant Slayer Level 3. The Aspect of the Dragons will be about 10 million coins, and the Revenant Falchion will be about 1 million. You can also try and get a pet for this one, such as a common griffin pet, purchased from Diana whenever she's mayor. It gives some decent damage stats and only costs 25,000 coins. For some extra health regeneration, you can use the Wand of Healing again, unless you're Revenant Slayer Level 3, then you can upgrade to the Wand of Mending. But if you're still struggling, then maybe you can try using a Radiant Power Orb. And you can use the same strategy as in Tier 2, just walk backwards into a wall and hit it. Tier 4 has 1.5 million health, so this is the point where it actually starts to get a bit difficult. Its damage per second is 400, and it costs 50,000 coins to spawn it. For your armor, 
You should still be able to do it in strong or unstable dragon armor, but if you can't, then you can either upgrade to superior dragon armor or shadow assassin armor with a tarantula helmet. The shadow assassin armor is around 20 million coins and the superior dragon is around 30 million. But the Shadow Assassin armor requires 4 or 5 completion. For your weapon, you can either keep your Aspect of the Dragons from tier 3, or you could upgrade to either a Livid Dagger or a Reaper Falchion if you've unlocked it. The Reaper Falchion is unlocked at Zombie Slayer level 6 and costs around 5 million coins. And the Livid Dagger is unlocked at 4 or 5 completion and costs around 7 million coins. For your pet, you can either keep the Griffin pet, but maybe try and get it to either Uncommon or Rare. Or you can try and get another damage pet such as tiger, lion, or anything else you have. You can also get a wolf pet for while you're spawning the boss because it gives extra combat wisdom so you can spawn the boss faster. To get the wolf pet, it's crafted in Sprucewood Collection, or you can buy it off the auction house for around 5 million coins for a level 1 legendary. Also at this point, you should be trying to have at least 150 to 200 magical power, but also make sure you have a good power stone. For some extra healing items, you can either use a radiant power orb, or if you have the Wolf Slayer, you can use a Mana Flux. You can also use either an Ornate or Floored Zombie Sword, and you should still be using the same strategy as in Tier 2 and 3 where you back into a wall, so that the knockback is not affecting you. Make sure that you always have your Mana Flux placed down, and use your Wand of Mending constantly. And if you get low, use your Ornate or Floored Zombie Sword. And now, I'm gonna try and do it on my Iron Man profile, with around 150 magical power, using my Aspect of the Dragons, and I'll be using 2 fourths unstable, 2 fourths ender armor, and my enderman pet. And also, another thing that I've found about tier 4s, and probably zombie slayer in general, is that if you stand under these iron bars, then he's going to be dealing even less knockback to you. Now every time he knocks me out, I'm just going to run back under these iron bars. And I'm going to try and be constantly using my wand of mending. And there we go. I did get a bit low at the end, but if you guys are dying, then you can always upgrade your armor or weapon. Tier 5 will be very difficult if you aren't already mid to late game, but it's still doable. It has 10 million health and deals 2400 damage per second. The boss fight is also completely different from the other 4 tiers. It has a few new abilities, including one called Redemption, where if you don't hit him for long enough, he'll rapidly regen his health. He will also be constantly throwing TNT, which deals insane amounts of damage. And finally, he has another ability called Thermonuclear, where he can charge up for a few seconds, and then release large amounts of lightning, which will probably one-shot you. You can still use the Livid Dagger, or if you can't kill it with that, then maybe upgrade to something like a Shadow Fury, which costs around 50 million coins, so that's a bit on the expensive side. Or you can keep using the Revenant Falchion. For your armor, I recommend you use Crimson, or you could use Necron armor with a Tarantula helmet. You can also try and get some extra Molten equipment for some extra health, defense, and strength. For your pet, you can use a Tiger, Griffin, or any other decent damaging pet. And also, don't forget to have a good magical power. A few hundred should be enough as long as you have a good power stone such as bloody or itchy. For some healing items, make sure you have a mana flux, florid zombie sword, and either a wand of mending or preferably a wand of restoration. There are a couple different strategies to easily kill the tier 5 boss, but the easiest one will be standing in front of these iron bars. If you stand right here on one of these two blocks, then he'll stop throwing his TNT and you won't be taking very much damage. So just stay here and try and move as little as possible, because if you move to one of these blocks, then he'll start throwing his TNT again. So to negate some of the knockback, you can try and get a Dwarf Turtle Shelmet. He still does have some attacks that will bypass the Dwarf Turtle Shelmet's ability, but it will help some. The other strategy is to stand in the biggest room, which is found by going right, which is also where the spot for tier 4s are. And once you're in here, go into F5, and then crouch and slowly walk backwards. Try not to let him hit you as you crouch and walk backwards, and definitely don't let the TNT hit you. If he enters one of his lightning phases, then you can rush in, attack him as much as you can, and then make sure you run out before it strikes or else you'll probably die instantly. Now let's look at an example boss fight using each strategy. I do have an Axe of the Shredded, but I'll be using this pretty bad Livid Dagger instead. I do have 3 fourths Necron Armor, which is pretty good but I also have this pretty bad tarantula helmet. And to compensate for using the good Necron armor, I'll only be using a Wand of Atonement, no Florid Zombie Sword or Mana Flux. 
make sure you spawn it down in this area because you don't want to have to be leading it all the way down here. So the second he spawns, run into these bars. See, I stepped out for a second, so he threw TNT. You can also try backing into this corner here. Now just hit him as fast as possible. Make sure to use a wand of restoration or atonement if you get low. And there we go. Oh, and I forgot to mention before, I'm using a griffin pet with a dwarf turtle shell in it. So now let's try the other method. And again, make sure to spawn him in this area because you don't want to have to lead him all the way down. So just go into F5 and slowly crouch, walking backwards, making sure not to let any of the TNT hit you. And there we go. If you have any other questions about Revenant Slayer, don't forget to comment them down below. Bye.